Ghazi Shami, who is founder of one of the most exciting independent music companies in the US, Empire. Since its launch in 2010, Empire has released a plethora of number one albums and singles, worked with some of the biggest names in music, and created a new blueprint for independent artists everywhere. Hip hop has always been a mechanism for change and a mechanism to give people a voice. And at a very young age, I recognized that through hip hop, I can voice my opinions. Being a child born to Palestinian immigrant parents from a country where our voice is rarely heard and our voice is often muted, I felt like I had an unadulterated voice through hip hop and I was able to speak my mind and speak freely. I remember us sitting together and I asked you if you had words of wisdom for a budding entrepreneur like myself. And you said, if you ride on other people's freeways, you have to abide by their rules. But if you create your own freeway, you go by your own rules. What CEO is involved in all of the process of not only making records, but still being in the trenches, trying to understand how people feel. I think he's driven every day to do more. He's been a big brother that's advised me and guided me throughout my career and continues to instill confidence in me and so many others because of his selfless love for seeing other people succeed. The things that inspire me most is coming into the office every single day, trying to perpetuate change, perpetuate livelihood all across the globe shed light and attention on underprivileged communities and people looking for a voice. It's all about paying it forward. That's my way to give back. I hope to inspire generations of children to be great, just like my parents inspired me to be great. To see someone as big as Ghazi help me to share my voice to the world, it's a blessing to me. I'm Palestinian, so it all comes from who I am innately, where people would know country and no rights and no voice. My parents brought me to a country where I could have a voice and have rights. My father was a refugee of war, so he instilled a flame in me that never burns out. He had integrity, he had moral values, he had ethics. He was proud, he was strong, he was a provider. My mom is a very graceful woman. She was always about etiquette, respect, holding your head up high. Love you, mama. I think the most difficult thing that I experienced growing up the fundamental naivety that exists in America about who we are as a people. I wouldn't be who I am today if I wasn't Palestinian. I wouldn't be the leader that I am. I wouldn't have the ethics that I am. The things that I was ridiculed for as a child became my strength. The spirit of who I am as a man.